podcast you're about to listen to is from a book series on post-qualitative, new materialist and critical post-humanist research. I'm Karen Meris and chief editor of this new Radlich series. You can find it on the following website, www.postqualitativeresearch.com. This chapter is from In Conversation with Karen Barad, Doings of Agential Realism, edited by Karen Meris and Vivian Bozalek. Meeting Karen Barad at Monkey Valley in 2017 was a highlight for me as a doctoral candidate, emerging researcher, and early years academic. Their work, theories, and practices became central to my PhD research, and I remain deeply affected by the work we did with them over the two-day seminar in 2017 and each subsequent return to an article, YouTube presentation, online seminar, or chapter in a book. At the seminar, Karen presented two articles by reading them aloud to us with an accompanying PowerPoint. They enacted a returning to their own work, a responsibility to that which they loved. And this is from their dialogue with Yolska et al. in 2021. I remain struck by this affirming scholarly and sacred practice and have continued to read, reread, and return to Barad's work and that which I love. That which I love includes the philosophy of child and childhood, childhood studies, philosophy with children, and initial teacher education. Barad's work influences every part of my life. As a lecturer and academic at the University of Cape Town, as a parent, a scholar, and a seeker of new ways of living more justly. The title of the chapter that I invite you to read, Chapter Read, Remembering as a Sacred Practice, came to me from Karen Barad's article, Troubling Times, Ecologies of Nothingness, Returning, Remembering, and Facing the Incalculable, a deeply significant article which we were generously offered an opportunity to read in its pre-published form by Karen Barad at the seminar. I have made many returns to the article and have been especially affected by the way the paper enacts a diffracted reading of Kayoko Hayashi's novella From Trinity to Trinity, which is translated from Japanese into English by Ayoko Otake. This diffracted reading is returned to by Barad at the seminar in 2017, and I quote, Hayashi's narrator bodily traces these entanglements of colonialist histories, violent erasures, and avoidances as an integral part of a sacred practice of remembering, which is not about going, which is not a going back to what was, but rather a material reconfiguring of space time mattering in ways that attempt to do justice to account for the de devastation wrought and to produce openings, new possible histories, reconfigurings of space-time matterings through which time beings might find a way to endure, end quote. I use remembering as a sacred practice and go further to remembering childhood as a sacred practice. Karen Barad has made it possible for me to theorize about child and childhood and war in this chapter, enabling a troubling of apartheid time, which is not past and gone. The violence of the atomic bomb created by physics and science, which is a discipline Karen Barad emerges from, and her responsibility to concerns of justice. Barad, in the interview with Jules Gedal in 2021, states, justice which is never finally achieved moves me. My name is Rose Ann Reynolds, and I remain in conversation with Karen Barad, where there is much more to be done, for the bombs have never stopped splitting. Thank you for listening to this podcast. If you would like to know more about this chapter, please visit the website www.postqualitativeresearch.com. 
and please stay tuned for future podcasts.